came on them home. Hi, Joss. How was your day at the recreation center? It, it was fine. You don't sound like you had a good time, honey. Um, I'm just gonna go in my room. Joss, do you want to tell me what's wrong? If I do, you're just gonna overreact. Try me. Okay. Have a seat, Joss. Tell me what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. It's just that me and Mary Grace had a little bit of an argument, so to speak. <sighs> what were you arguing about? Well, there's this talent such thing going on at the recreation center and I want to sing you mean you want to compete yeah I want to sing well it's wonderful honey you mean you don't think it's silly for somebody who has a hearing problem to sing of course not I've heard you sing you sing like an angel I just wish you would share your talent with more people other than your family I know you're a great surfer and a great cheerleader, but you shouldn't waste your singing talent. So, anyway, getting back to Marie Grace, what are you arguing about? She thinks I can't do it. She says, you can't do it. How can a deaf person win a singing contest? So I showed her this video on YouTube. Um... I don't remember the YouTuber's channel name, but it was about a girl named Rosie Hartfelt who was completely deaf and won a singing contest. That kind of inspired me that if somebody who's completely deaf could win a singing contest, or at least enter one, why can't a partially deaf person enter? Besides, I know even though I can't hear myself very well, I know I can sing and I know I'm good. But then that's all that matters. I know, but I tried telling Marie Grace about that, and she just laughed. Well, honey, give her time to get used to the idea. Give her time? Give her time? Are you serious? You're taking Marie Grace's side? I'm not on anybody's side. I'm just saying, try not to dwell on it. She'll come around. Whatever, Mom. I'm going to go in my room and practice if it's worth doing anyway. It is, Joss. It is. Oh, goodness. i got to watch how I talk to my daughters. <laughs> Joss? Joss, what's wrong? Mindy? You and I have always been honest with each other, haven't we? Yeah. Why? Why are you bringing that up? Do you think that I could enter a singing contest? You mean you want my permission? No, I want your encouragement. Or at least your honest answer on what you think of that. Of you entering the singing contest? Yeah. I know I'm partially deaf, but that doesn't matter. You have a great voice. I wish you would share it with the world, but you choose not to. That's basically what Mom said. Why are you asking me this anyway? Well, because at my recreational center, we are um, doing this talent search thing. The winner gets to have a special lesson in New York City. And maybe take off, take the career off from there. Do you want to spend your whole the rest of your life singing? I don't know. I just want to try. Yeah, but what happens if you win? Why do you have to be? You really think I could win? Yeah, I do. At least you and Mom think so. Well, who doesn't think you could win? Mary Grace, my so-called best friend, thinks that it's stupid that I'm going to end her. She says, you don't stand the chance. You can't hear yourself singing, so how do you know you're good? And I told her, I can hear myself singing. And she goes, we're not well enough, considering that you were a hearing aid. And that you're totally deaf in the other ear. That's terrible. I wouldn't be a friend anymore. I'm not mad at her. I'm just very upset and hurt. 
Well, I would be too, but I w you want me to take her out for you? No, don't. Jeez, violence isn't always the answer, Mindy. Well, you're going to enter that contest and you're going to do great. Do you hear me, Jocelyn Elizabeth Kendrick? Oh, God, I hate when you use my full name. That means you're serious. S serious as a broken leg. Yep. <sighs> okay, what song do you think I should sing? I think you should sing the one you sing best. Which is? I think you should sing Exceptional. That's a really good song, and you sing it so well. You really think so? Yeah, in fact, why don't you invite Marie Grace over and sing it for her, and then she'll see if you have a good voice or not. But I think she'll think you have a great voice. You really believe in me that much? I always have. All right, I'll give her a call. You're exceptional, the way you are, so I need a change for nobody. You're really good. what you say? I said you're really good at singing. Thanks. I just hope Marie Grace... Come in. What, does someone knock on the door? Yeah. Hey. I'll leave you two alone. No. Don't leave me alone with Mary Grace. Stay here. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll stay here. Please. Okay, okay, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Hey. So let's hear you sing. Before I sing you, do you have anything you'd like to say to me? Yeah, I better not have wasted my time coming here just to hear you blow it. All right, that's it. Do you want to come home with your teeth inside your mouth or out? Mindy, maybe you should let me handle this on my own. Fine, but if she's mean to you again, I'm going to deco one. Oh, please, I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, well, I'm not afraid of you either. Guys, stop it. Mindy, go watch TV with Mom. I can handle this myself. Fine, but the walls are thin so I can heal. Fair enough. Now, can you please just go? Watching you, Mary Grace. <sighs> Look, I'm really sorry about how mean I've been. Why? Because Mary Grace is, um, suddenly... I mean, why? Because Mindy is suddenly... Like, getting involved, and you know how violent she can be? I guess. But I'm also sorry for judging you. Come on, sing me a few lines of the song for me. You really want to hear it? So you can laugh at me? If you're bad, I won't laugh. And if you're good, I definitely won't laugh. Go ahead, sing. You're exceptional, the way you are, don't need a change for nobody. You're incredible, anyone can see that. When we believe that you are nothing but exceptional. Oh my gosh, you really can sing. I told you. That was really good. I'm so sorry I judged you. I really am. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Are you going to enter the talent competition? You know what I was going to, but I'm not. Why? Because I already did my talent competition. What are you talking about? I proved people wrong that I can sing even though I'm deaf. And that's worth, worth more than any talent competition. Well, I can't force you to enter the talent competition, but you're crazy not to enter. I know, but I like singing because it's fun, not because I expect to get anything out of it. But I thought you wanted to enter the contest. At first I did, but that was only to prove you wrong. But now that, but now that I did, 
I don't have to enter the talent competition for you to know I'm a good singer. <laughs> okay, so let's move right. But I really am sorry I doubted you so much. I shouldn't have laughed at you. I shouldn't have made fun of you, and I'm sorry. Do you think you could forgive me? I guess so. I mean, you were really mean to me about my singing, but I forgive you. We're friends. Can't be mad at each other forever. No, we cannot. Well, look, I gotta go. You don't have to leave. No, no, I'm serious. I really do need to go. But I'll talk to you later, okay? I'll, I'll video chat you tonight. Okay. Bye. Bye.